So hey guys, welcome along and uh, we're going to try and fit this in this evening to my LS2. Now this is the Pack Talk Bold and this is the Black Edition. I've already had a go through the box so that's what you get. It comes in a nice little box, loads and loads and loads of these Pack Talk leaflets so you can go and uh, set it all up. Nice set of the JBL headphones. Now these are the 45s, not the 40. You get a better response off the uh, 45s. You've got the standard clip that just slides underneath the rim of the crash helmet. Now I've got an LS2, so it may have trouble getting on it. So we may have to go with this one. And this is the 3M mount that fits on the back of this one. So we're gonna give each one a try, see which one works. Uh, might make a total balls up of it, but we don't know. Now you've got choice of two mics on this, so you've got the standard boom mic, and in this one over here, you've got the little three and a half inch mic as well. So little tiny one that you can just put onto the front of your uh, helmet if you've got a full screen. I've got a uh, hybrid screen, so we're gonna try and go with the boom mic on this one. So we're gonna start off. That is all the pack tool gear. We're gonna shift that off to the side, get rid of the box for a minute. Comes with a USB charging lead, but I've got loads of those. So thanks to the guys from Pack Talk sending that all in to me, and uh, we shall see what happens. First things first, if you are working on your helmet, get yourself one of these helmet ring. Nice, easy thing just to put down and rest your helmet on. Now this will stop your helmet from scratching, sliding around, moving all around the surface. So here she is. This is the LS2 Iridium already mounted up we've got the new drift uh, ghost xl on there so let's see how we get on taking this thing apart very very easy to work on the ls2 so all you do is snap out the sides on this that lets you in to all the bits and all the gubbins so we're going to start stripping this down and we'll cut back in in a while when we've got it stripped out a few moments later so as I thought, it's quite easy to actually strip it out. Very, very simple case of just take this liner out the front, the foam goes around the back, this all tucks in at the back. Once it's out, it took me about two minutes to do that. And your cheek pads, once again, there's three studs on the LS2. So one, two, and three. They just pop into cheek pieces. This little bit of plastic just goes around the edge of the inside lip of the helmet. Now, as I thought with the Cardo, due to this uh, lip being here and also this is where the sun shield goes so that's what brings the sun shield up and down no point in trying to get this over the edge of here it will not fit so which we've actually done it's flipped it out we've gone for the free m mount so this is going to go down this side on the side of the helmet and we're going to start wiring it up so as we say back in a few so after about 40 minutes of fiddling and fussing with wires we've managed to get all the wires looped into the back of the helmet just under here and just checking out the JBL speakers just down the side here you can just about see them flip the helmet over on its side and there you go so nice deep JBL speakers on that and the other ones fitted on the other side just the side cheek pads to go in mics at the front all nicely wired in does come with a lot of these velcro pads so really really good the El Cardo for uh, getting it in the only thing found the difficulty was the jack for the audio leads is quite bulky it's three and a half mil jack extender and we've had to sit that in the padding at the back here so it's out of the way it's tucked out of the way it's not going to encumber the back of my head at all so nicely tucked out of the way just there in the ribbon at the back so hopefully once we've got all the wires back in we shall run it up test it out and we shall see where we go in just a few a little longer than a few minutes later so the final part all the side ribs are all in all nicely tucked in nicely fed in on both sides some visors still work got the drift camera wired in wires running down the back and of course you've got the pack torque wires that just run here everything fed into the back of the helmet nice and bulky down the back and there's still plenty of padding in there for me to move around. Just flip the helmet around so you can get a decent view of that. But as you can see, there's plenty of padding in the back of that. Last thing to do is take the pack torque, take the plastic off. Now, with the pack torque, it's just a case of just slide the front in here, like so. Click the back in, hold the buttons down, it is good to go. So now comes the nice, easy job of programming all that, programming all this in 
to the mobile phone. So, going to get the mobile phone up next. We're going to bring up the Cardo app. We're going to try it all out, and uh, we'll catch up with you again in a few. So far, it's taken me just short of an hour and a half to do this, but I have been finicky and fussy, made sure everything's all taped in. Loads and loads of. Uh, tape all around the back of it and loads of double sided and velcro being used just to make sure no wires get trapped and no uh, no cables are getting stretched so a bit fussy on this about an hour and a half in and we shall catch up with you in a few when we've got it up and running many hours later so all back together and all working and the best thing about probably having the pack talk is that you can do this hey cardo music on hey cardo music up all working through the app on here so got the mobile phone in front of me just to obviously show you it's all working currently it is playing music so uh, for all you saddos out there a little bit of nickelback playing on that and you can also go hey mu cardo music off there we go music off as well so all wired in pack talk black limited edition drift camera one side we've got the pack talk black flashing away volume control on the front to the back you've got DMC so that is your mesh communications you've also got Bluetooth music on music off you can control your phone off of this all via all via the voice commands as well so all you've got to do is tell it hey Cardo make a call uh, hey Cardo stop but it's very very sensitive on the mic very very good bit of kit so thanks to the guys from uh, Cardo obviously getting that out to me the black edition they do a silver edition of this as well um, if you are interested obviously drop me a DM but it, we shall try this out brand new helmet this is the new LS2 that we got from the guys so we're going to be trying this one out still got the old one but uh, so far so good LS2 and of course the pack talk black and it's nice and snug on the side so that's the one thing I do like very very snug design on the side nice and easy to feed the wires it does look great from behind and it's very very easy to wire in on these LS2 helmets so uh, stay tuned for further reviews till then be well ride safe and it's a big goodbye from me